Louisiana Beer Review's Bud Light Lime Strawberry Tea. Here's an interesting thing. I bought this in the Rita's pack. You know, now in 2019, it's been Bud Light Lime. Aritas have been rebranded the Rita's. That's what their website's called, the Rita's.com. Just now, as soon as I started this video production, I see it says Bud Light Lime Strawberry Tea. Strawberry Margarita. So, <laughs> I guess they had a lot of leftover um, labels and then they weren't willing to waste them. Now, if you get other ones, it'll just say Rita's Lime Burrito, like the cap. Bizarre. Uh, strawberry to Strawberry Margarita. Malt beverage with natural flavors, artificial sweetener, and artificial colors. I wouldn't have bought it if I'd have known that. It was too late. I paid like um, thirteen ninety-eight for the twelve pack. Eight percent alcohol, two hundred ninety-seven calories. This was bottled on the two hundred two hundred and thirty-first day of twenty nineteen. It's got the born on date, guys. Nice pop. So it's a strange thing how they phased out the Bud Light Lime um, insignia, but they kept it on this in this 12 pack. <laughs> uh, I've only seen bottles in these variety packs. I've seen cans too. Um, in the 12 pack, and then I, of course you see the tall 25 ounce cans everywhere. Well, that's red strawberry color. I guess strawberry drink like Fago or Knee High. Or, one of those brands, fizzy, no kind of foam, bubbles along the side, clean glass. Um, I was at Walmart this morning and I did not see the variety pack, must have sold out, people snatched it up. They had the cranberry to, cranberry to, which is a winter time one. This one, strawberry to, of course the lime marita, I guess they've always put that, that's the original from 2012, put that in the, all the variety packs. And the mango rita, okay? Two time, uh, three times four. It smells like strawberry drink. These are basically like the strawberry flavored pop, soda pop. We say soft drink down here. Strawberry, strawberry flavored soft drink, but with an eight percent alcohol. Does this contain barley malt and hops? Hop extract? Yes, it does. And of course, water corn syrup, high fructose corn syrup, the coloring, food coloring, sugar, and the artificial sweetener. I don't know why they put both. Sodium citrate to give it a tartness. So you say, well, this is basically like a concoction, a chemical concoction drink. Yeah. to buy these things. Now I tried this, a little taste of it years ago, about six years ago when it first came out in New Orleans. We were parked on Carrollton Avenue and a friend of mine who, and a co-worker who died due to, let's look at it like this, drinking too much. But he wasn't drinking strawberries. He died at age 49 by drinking Crown Royal and Coke all day long. He went mad. To me, he went crazy. I don't know what was behind that. Most alcohol or drug problems have an underlying psychological problem that kind of leads to the heavy drinking and drug abuse. That's something I can't explain, but it, but it happened anyway. Very sad story. But, you know, uh, you know that alcoholic beverages are like fire. They're dangerous. They're useful because they enjoyable. You can have a good time, social lubricant. Uh, you can study the history of the products and uh, have a lot of fun with them, do hangouts and whatnot. But they're, they're dangerous because you can go down a bad path and wind up as a human train wreck. And we know this happens every day. Fire, heat, cooking, warmth in the winter, and you can burn your house down or burn yourself with it. Anyway, on with this. You can kind of taste the malt base, the pale malt. The strawberry flavoring. Strawberry flavor, the tart. 
no bitterness, forget that. They have enough hops, I guess, to balance out too much sweetness. The body's high, medium, and nearly heavy. You might even argue heavy body. And the finish is mostly dry and probably coming from that high fructose corn syrup. Like if you drink an RC Cola or Dr. Pepper or Coke or Pepsi, Coca-Cola or Pepsi, with the high fructose corn syrup versions, the common version, it'd, it'd be like drying and to me, unpleasant. It's like you drink it, it makes you thirsty. Therefore, I never drank those. I just I just never drank those. I was at the LSU game earlier this year. Well, that in that case, I really didn't have any choice. I wasn't paying $4 for a bottle of water. So I just paid $4.50 for the 20 ounce bottle of Coke, a cola. Was it good? It was what I just described. No. Is this better than that? I think it's better. It is better. It's not much better. Um, but you consider what it is. Flavored malt beverage. Ready to drink. Canned cocktail. Bottled cocktail in this case. Wildly popular. Just not with me. Doesn't have to. I said that in the previous video. The... Um, Cran Burrito. Doesn't have to be popular with me. I don't have to give it a good review. Doesn't matter. It's going to sell like crazy. I wouldn't make a habit of drinking them. I don't make a habit of drinking them. I do review them because they're interesting. They're interesting. I wish I could get a four pack, one of each flavor instead of a 12 pack, but that's what they sell them in. Okay. Um, but in the style, ready to drink malt beverage, cocktail beverage. It's very good. I'll say 93 out of 100 in the stop. I do think the club tails are better from Geloso Beverage Group in Canada. They're 10% in their pint cans or you can get the 24 ounce can. I would never dream of drinking that. I beg you don't drink that. Share it with many friends. But I like those. They're flavored ales. They don't have artificial sweetener. They don't have artificial flavoring. Um, artificial color, yeah. But uh, those are the real winner, the Club Tales, the original Club Tales. Um, but they are a knockout drink. 10%, if you drink one pint, you're going to know you drank it. In a way, that's good because you feel it. You're like, whoa, 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 what happened here? And then it's sort of like a warning sign. Watch it, watch it, watch it. These, maybe they don't give you the alert so much that could be dangerous but anyway uh still if this is for, if this is your style it's, it's an a um i tried to tell one of the beer reviews i said um he did the mango read i said i think it's a most excellent product in this for what it is i said but i just don't like what it is and he said i don't understand that comment it seems clear it's very good in the style i don't like the style don't have to like it. All right, well, anyway, enough preaching, enough ranting and raving. <laughs> I'm not really doing that. I knew what I was getting into when I bought it, so it's uh, you deal with these things as as they appear. So, laissez les bon temps roulés, a most excellent concoction item, and I'm going to end this review by saying, y'all, come on down to southeastern Louisiana. <laughs>